going on guys welcome i hope all is well <coughs> uh, i made it to where i'm camping i have been camping i've been chilling and relaxing um something that happened this week i came to the realization that you know what i'm kind of filming and doing the same thing in my videos so i want to kind of change it up a little bit so i was like you know what i'm gonna go to a familiar area new camp spot i'm in it i'm this is a different camp spot i've never camped in this spot and i kind of like it too although the road is is kind of close and i'll show you that in a little bit anyways so i decided i'll come out i'll enjoy the drive i'll find my spot i'll set up camp i'll enjoy camp for a little bit and then i'll bring you guys along for the rest of the journey and so that's what i did and it was kind of nice but I will say, um, for this trip as well, something I didn't plan on doing that I am ended up doing that is also clicking my head that I need to grab is I am meal prepping. So I decided to meal prep this week, which in reminding, and that remind, oh my God, there's a honeybee in here. Let me see if I can save it. Hold on, pause real quick. Come over here. Yep, oh, you're gonna, you're gonna survive, you're gonna survive. All right, there you go. Okay, I think that bead's gonna make it. So I have to, something I have to do in, in meal prepping, so I'm cooking on the campfire which I have my own issues about that, which I'll go into a little bit. Um, but let me grab the mahi-mahi. I decided I would uh, cook some mahi-mahi on the campfire and some chicken. So I'd have that for the week. But I pulled the mahi-mahi out of the freezer this, this morning, so I know it's still frozen. So I gotta grab it. Let's see. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, let me deal with this. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, I got the fish out. They're right here. They are still frozen. So hopefully they should be ready in a couple hours. It's, it's warm enough outside. All right, so the issue I have with the camp firing is so last camping trip, my shovel broke on me. So I don't have it this trip. And I'm realizing because there's trash in here and the campfire, you can look like right here, there's... Some foil right there. There is some foil right there. And I usually what I'll do is I'll dig out the campfire ring really good, get all the trash out, and I'll be able to cook on there. Since I'm meal prepping, I don't have that. Like I'm gonna get a stick, I'm gonna clean it out the best I can, but I'm actually gonna fix it up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna just shift it over just a little bit so I can cook right so I can cook right here and I won't have to worry about like am I burning some plastic that I missed some glass some uh, foil you know who knows what right now I'm gonna walk around and I'm gonna gather some wood so if you want to take a look this is the wood that I brought oh and look at that okay so this is the wood that I brought this is some wood that's here some wood that you know is here so some leftover wood so i'm gonna grab some more because you know i like to have plenty full and i see a bunch over here off in this distance so i'm gonna walk around gather that if i do see any trash then i'll grab my trash bag and you know do a full walk around but it doesn't seem that bad from what i can tell
All right, well, I had to get the fire going. When I was at the tail end of cutting the wood, oh, here's what it looks like. Um, there's the wood I got all cut up. That wood was already here. That is the wood I brought. That is what the fire looks like right now. And the fire ring, that's, that's what it looks like completed. So I got the fire going because of the mosquitoes. When I was at the tail end of cutting up that wood, I could see mosquitoes around me. So I was like, you know what? Since I'm in the shade and I have enough trees around me, it's warm, but I can get the fire going because it's not too hot and the smoke will help deter the mosquitoes away. Right now though, I am actually getting ready to, I guess, start making my dinner and meal prepping. I got, so I'm making fried rice. I got all my ingredients right there. I'm gonna make that on the stove top. And then later on, on the grill, I'm gonna make my broccoli carrots. And then I have chicken and, what did I say? Mahi mahi. The sun is all but gone. So the second I put the grill on the fire, 
I realized I still have to cut up the broccoli and carrots, which I have right here. I cut them up. I also chopped up some more garlic. And here is my fried rice. So I went ahead and took care of that and I added more wood to the fire so that would keep going while I, while I took care of chopping all those up. Now I'm gonna put the grill back on there so I can start cooking. Oh, I do have a dilemma as well. Um, I forgot Tupperware to put my food in. I have a couple ideas, but we, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. For right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and cook everything and then we'll go from there. All right. Oh, hold on one sec. Um, there we go. We'll just take it off. There we go. We don't need it right now. Um, so everything is done. <laughs> Here is my food. I decided to do a piece of chicken and some mahi-mahi for my dinner. And I did, I was, I am, I, um, what am I trying to say? So, I was able to find some containers to be able to store all my stuff in. So here's what I have stuff stored in. So I have my, uh, in this silicone bag, I have the chicken and mahi-mahi. And then in here, I was able to fit the broccoli and carrots. Ooh. And then in here is my fried rice. So I was able to fit everything into um, some bags so I don't have to worry about it. But uh, I am going to enjoy the fire, my food, and I will see you guys at some point in the morning tomorrow.
I got pretty much everything packed up. You can see the fire is out. I just have my wood and just that little stuff to pack up in there. And then I'm out of here. I decided to pack up early because next week I'm actually going to do a two-nighter. And since I'm going to be spending more time out here, I need to take care of some stuff at home. So I figured I'd just leave a little bit early today. Go ahead, take care of that stuff so I don't got to worry about it. And I'll have an awesome trip next week. I do want to say, man, this spot is very, very peaceful. But I feel like it's normally not like that. Just because if you take a look, the road is right here. It goes down that way. But it's, I came down from this way, it goes down that way, and then it continues off down that way. So I will be heading back that way, be backtracking to go back home. It's still a great spot, but this is actually where I'm going to leave you guys. So just like normal, I appreciate you. Remember, it is only impossible until it no longer is. And uh, hopefully I'll see you next time. All right, take care, guys.